guys, it's Marlo Diana with Fast Fit Foods and today we're going to be making some basic over easy eggs with bacon. Now is that low fat? Yes it is because we're using a center cut bacon. Actually serving size is one slice and one gram of saturated fat. However, we're going to try to cut that in half today by microwaving it. It saves on a mess and it saves on your body. Why put the grease in your body when you can take it out? And as your eggs are concerned, one egg has six grams of protein. So we're going to have two eggs, which will be 12 grams of protein. And we're going to actually consume the yolk because although there is some fat into the yolk, there's some good cholesterol and bad cholesterol when it comes to yolks. Yolks get a bad rap. However, so we're going to submit our eggs as well. And we're going to talk about bread. Everybody loves bread, but they want to be on a diet. This is regular raisin bread. You can't have one slice if you're really working hard and you don't want to burn a lot of fat, like you're already actually kind of lean. You could afford this. However, if you say you want to have a goal to consider to getting more leaner, you could still have this, but you have to work out a little bit and then say Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, work out hard and then reward yourself. However, you can't cut bread out because bread is good. You need some grains in your diet. It's which bread. Instead of just going in the aisle of the grocery store getting any type of bread, go to the bakery. This is raisin bread, actually it tastes better, it lasts a lot longer in your refrigerator and you can do a lot of things with it. You can toast it, you can use it just to pick at and it's what it is is this is high glycemic. This is low glycemic, which that means is when you eat more of a white bread, sugary, your insulin levels, your sugar levels spike and that increases fat. We don't want that. This is low glycemic because it's made of more wheat and rye, that's a low glycemic. So let's get started here. First things first, and always wash your hands, which I do. You're going to get paper towel, you're going to put it down. You could double it if you'd like. Now remember, cooking bacon in the microwave, you don't want to burn it. I like mine a little crispy, so you're going to do, I'd say, 1 minute to 1 minute 15 seconds per slice now. It depends on the wattage of your microwave. We're going to do 3 slices. Okay, so we're going to go, I'd say, about four minutes, no more. However, you want to cover this. And you're just going to put it into your microwave. And really, depending on your wattage, actually, a minute per slice might work if you have a high powered microwave. But don't overcook it, you can always restart it. So we're just going to go four minutes here. And then we're on, we're off here. We're going to put this bacon away. Wash our hands. Always wash your hands when you touch any type of bacon, fish, chicken, and before and during and after you cook. A lot of people, they don't stress that issue. You must stress the issue to keep clean. Now this is just a fast, basically breakfast. What we're doing here is we're preheating your pan, which I had preheated. And I'm going to turn it up to about maybe three to four, halfway on your stove. You could use a regular PM spray, like a aerosol, but a lot of people don't like this. They said, oh my god, the aerosol is so good. So, I got something better. This is just a pump. You can put any type of olive oil. You can put canola oil, sunflower, vegetable, peanut oil. I just have regular olive oil in there. And it's a pump. You pump it up, you give it about maybe seven to ten pumps, and you can refill it with different types of oil. And what you're gonna do is just you use this instead of the aerosol, more healthier. See? Beautiful. Putting less instead of like people and all. They, what they, you would do is someone that doesn't realize they would get this and pour it in there to try to make eggs. You'll have grease all over your stove, grease all in your body. You don't want that. You can use it, but sparingly. Now we're going to let this heat. We just put the oil in there. You want it to heat for about a minute or two. But you don't want it to smoke. When it starts smoking, that means your pan is too high. So, we're going to toast our bread because it will actually lower just a bit the carbohydrate intake in the bread. So by toasting it, it's a little better for you. And this is just a basic toaster. I'm just going to put it on uh, about 8 minutes. So definitely toast your bread. It's better for you. Now, do we get any heat off that? 
not yet, we're going to turn it up a little bit more. We want your pan to be nice and hot. And in the meantime, this is actually a quick breakfast. We're just going to do a quick couple exercises and stretches. The first stretch you can use is basically just hold on to your this side of your, your table or your calendar and just stretch like this. Put your head down, breathe out. Maybe about eight seconds, eight to ten. Same thing with the other arm now. When you're putting this arm here and you're sort of pulling and exhaling, put your head down. Now you just loosened your, your lats. That's one stretch. There's another stretch you could do for your tricep. And these are simple, but actually they'll help you throughout the day. You don't want to leave your home stiff. And that's about eight. We'll do the other side. Now, what we're going to do, I'm going to pull my chair up here. But we're going to also, before we do that, we're going to put our eggs in the pan. Give your hands a little wash. Okay. Cracking egg. Always watch this pan that doesn't burn you. Cracking an egg. You can crack it with one hand, but that takes a little practice. However, lightly, just crack it. Put your thumbs together, fingers here, like that. Nice. See? Now you want to put it on low or medium low, depending if you're in a hurry. And you're just going to let that cook, but you don't want it to burn. Make sure it's centered in there. Your bacon's doing fine. Okay? We're just going to leave that go. We have our toaster. We have everything going in order. Let's get a quick set of exercises. You could use water jugs, cans. We're using these weights. They're about maybe five pounds. And you're just going to get on the side of your uh, chair. And this is really good for your neck. And it's not going to make your neck huge. It's going to make you have a fine, nice cut. For you women who wear that dress, who want that nice cut, not actually like a thick muscle cut, but it will just separate your trapezius with your neck. It'll make you look beautiful. And for your men that want more of a, say, a bulkier look, you just use a little bit of heavier weight. But however, it's going to form and transform your uh, your muscles, so you develop that. And you just bring this up, squeezing, and when you come down, stretch it. A lot of people they forget. They bring it. It's one motion up and not down. Bring it down. And if you want to work the rear more, just bend forward, up. You want to do about three sets of ten reps. I can feel it already. Four, five, six, not too fast, seven, eight. These feel really heavy. Hold that one. Ten. What you're working there is this trapezius, this muscle here. Now our eggs are almost done. So, say it's 7 a.m., you want to go to work, you want to eat a good breakfast, you want to work out, if you think about it, and say I'm going to go to the gym later, well you might not make it. So, in case you don't make it, you could say, hey, I exercise at home and I put fuel in. See what's great about this? You work out and then your body's dying for nutrients and you put them right into your body. So they really aren't going to just go and go to your fat storage, they're going to go where it's most needed. You just work those muscles, it's going to go into those muscles, refill them. That's how the body works. What you take out, you got to put back in. Our bacon is calling us. First of all, let's get our eggs. And remember, cooking eggs, I can tell you two minutes on each side, three minutes on low. Every stove is different these days. So you're going to have to go by eye. But I would say preheat your pan for about two minutes. If you want them like this. Make sure it's not smoking, oil your pan, make sure you don't get burned, and I'd say about two minutes on each side. And if it's not uh, what you want, just check it. Take your time, a delicate motion when you flip. People go like this, I can't get it. Well, nice. See? Flip it. Okay, that's that. Let's see if our bacon came to our expectations. Now, I like mine crispy. Beautiful. See? And that's how I like my bacon. I don't like it really fat, but if, say, you want it a little more juicier, well, then you just put it at a minute. This was at four minutes for three slices, but I like it like this. 
Perfect, see? And guess where all your grease is? Look at it. Like seriously, this would probably go on your body. Like honestly, it definitely would from the pan. Come on. So, you want to keep that out of your body, that's how you do it. Now my hands are all greasy. The only thing maybe I would use that for in uh, desperate measures if I was on the beach and it was last resort. But you would probably uh, attract a lot of something because that probably would smell. Okay, anyway, I think our toast is done. Put that over there. Shut your stove off so you don't burn your home down or your apartment because, you know, you need that. Uh oh, it's calling me. Oh, we got a fire. Nope, just how I like it. Nice and crispy, but not too crispy. So, what do you think? We have beautiful raisin bread. This is from the bakery section now. That's awesome. Nice eggs, bacon. You can't beat this. It was fast. You got a little workout in. Although we didn't like do a big grueling workout. If you have more time, you do more sets. However, that was just some shrugs. What you would add in, I'm going to show you one more exercise before I leave you guys. So you say you do your three sets of shrugs. You don't have to do them sitting. You can do them standing. However, throw this in. It's an upright row. One. Hold it up there. Two. You want to go up to your nose. Three. Control is everything. Four. Five. And you want to do about 10 reps of about three sets. If you're really daring, do 20 reps. But make sure each one counts. A lot of people will go like this. That's wrong. Control, like a painter. And do about three sets. Right in a row. If you need the rest, rest for about 30 seconds to maybe a minute and a half. But try to work up to it. Remember, in life, you have a choice to change your body, change your ways. And you can do it right from your home. You don't have to run to the gym. You can, but there's other options. It's like a bicycle. If you get on a bicycle and go down the hill with no brakes, guess what happens? You pretty much know the answer. However, by feeding your body with garbage and not exercising, it's sort of you're setting yourself up for that bicycle ride with no brakes. You know what I mean. Thank you for joining me this breakfast segment. I hope it was very helpful. It was helpful for me because I got exercise in. And now I can eat my breakfast. This is carbohydrates. I would say about 12 carbohydrates per slice. Protein, 6 and 6 is 12. There's some protein in the bacon. Saturated fat is about, I'd say, 2 because we took about a gram out, a half a gram per slice by doing it our way. Thank you. See you next time.